Okay, so when creating this one, there are many different ways we can look at the shapes into this one. For example, I see a triangle. Then I can put another triangle on it. I have a rectangle here, but I don't quite have all dimensions for it. I have no dimensions for these, but I do dimensions for a polygon. And if you're thinking about it, you can look at it, and if you can imagine a circle on the inside of this, this polygon, the sides are, would be circumscribed. But I'm going to attack them a little bit. I'm going to make this triangle or polygon whatever size I want. So if I can see through it and say, okay, is this is a inscribed or circumscribed polygon, I can make it where I want to, and then I should be able to scale to and fit this for. And this is going to be a really good practice with using the scale command. Okay, so like I said, go ahead and create polygon. This is a hexagon, so we have six sides. I'll place the center here. It is an inscribed or circumscribed. Now I told you what which one it was, but in this case I'm going to choose the inscribed and I'm going to potentially make a mistake. Let's go ahead and put the perpendicular on. And you can see that I'm going up. And I can two if I want, but let's just make it any size you want. So I'll click here. Go ahead and create some lines to go across this. So I'll start from this endpoint. And then I'll create that triangle that's on the inside that I've seen. So here, at this endpoint, then go to this endpoint, and back up to this one. Now I'll come straight down to here. I'll go to the endpoint, to this endpoint, and then back to here. Create a few more lines on the inside of this one. Know that I have a line going here. And one that's going up here. And that should complete all the lines that you need for this one. Now one other way of doing this is that I'm going to select. And I see that from each one of these locations I have four lines that I, that I can create. Or the other. So I know that from here it goes to, to this endpoint. Select the grip here at the bottom. Then choose copy. This will allow me to go to this endpoint and to this endpoint. Then I use the array and pull. I can select three lines, enter. The center point of my revolution here is at the geometric center of my polygon. So if you can right click to the geometric center, touch the edge, and now you're going to get that center will show up. I have six of them. I have my associativity turned off in this case. And then I'll just close array. I know I will have some overlapping lines on the inside of this. So I'll clean them up with the overkill command. So select overkill. I'm just going to put a blue around everything. Hit the enter button. And then you get your dialog box. Just go ahead and select OK. You can see that I had nine overlapping segments, And AutoCAD cleaned it up for me. Next, create the circles going around this. Let's use a circle, center, radius. I'll click the end point. And then I'll go to this perpendicular or midpoint. Then we can use polar array again. So polar array, select your circle, enter. Then I want you to select this intersection here or midpoint. And you have six of them. So go ahead and close the array. Now this is not the right size of this. And I can use measure command to verify that. So I'll use measure. And what I'm going to do, you can see that it's giving me all this different information. I'm going to tell it that I have a distance. I'm going to select this point here at this section. And I'll go all the way up to here. And you can see that it's reading 13.623 and yours may be different. Escape out of this command. And now look at the scale command. Scale. Select the objects that you want to scale. So this scale here. The base point where I want it to shrink and grow. Let's choose right in the middle of our object. 
And you can see as I move my cursor in and out, that this scaling in and out. I'm going to choose the reference option. And what I'm going to do is say from this end point, so click this end point, and then click this point. And now I need to tell it the distance I want that end points to be. So in this case, I want it to be 4. So just type in 4. And then hit enter. enter. Now let's zoom in on the bottom of this and check it with the measure command again. So measure, distance, select this endpoint, going to that endpoint, and you can see that the reference dimension here in the middle is indeed giving me 4. So I can escape that command and zoom at the extent. So if you don't have, you have very limited information, you can construct some certain things. But if you look at the overall shapes of them. Okay, so thank you for watching this one.